Well, eight billion federal shipbuilding dollars will soon be flowing into our province, but will British Columbians be the ones who really cash in on that? As we have been telling you since the contracts were announced on Wednesday, some fear that our skilled workforce is just too small and shipbuilders from outside the province will have to be hired for the thousands of new jobs. Instructors at island colleges and universities like VIU don't want to let that happen. CTV's Scott Cunningham has the story. Peering into a bright flame, members of this Vancouver Island University class are learning to weld. Mastering the craft is part of a small boat building course. But now, with billions on the way to manufacture large sea vessels in our province, the Vancouver Island University is pushing for island workers to profit. These are really, really good jobs. These are family-sustaining, high-skilled uh, trades jobs that will sustain people on Vancouver Island, right across Vancouver Island, for a long, long period of time. Fred McDonald isn't waiting to see jobs snapped up by foreign workers. He has already written a proposal to the province to kickstart a large shipbuilding and repair program in Nanaimo. It's part of our social responsibility. It's part of our mandate is to help drive the economy of this region. On Newcastle Channel at Nanaimo's shipyard, that economic drive is dearly needed. Fewer than 100 work here. But with the new federal contract, employment is expected to jump and locals say they want to crack at those jobs. We should be taking on these big projects and uh, I think we have a manpower to do it if the right training is provided. Putting wind in the sails of a shipbuilding and repair program at VIU will not be cheap. Officials estimate it could cost $10 million and to get the idea off the ground, they will need provincial help. We'll be working with the colleges and institutions here to make sure that they also get to take advantage of this contract. Pat Bell isn't zeroing in only on Nanaimo, however. The jobs minister would like to see training land in several Vancouver Island institutions. Back at VIU, staff are optimistic they will get approval and begin teaching students in a pilot project in mid-2012. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.